Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these colorful brick stitch or peyote stitch earrings. They could be done in both ways with peyote or with brick stitch. If you're not familiar with these stitches don't worry because I'm showing really easy and slowly and step by step and I'm sure even if you're a beginner you're gonna be able to make it and I also provide a pattern for this work. Okay, here I will be showing this work with brick stitch and I'm using Delica Mayuki Delica beads for this work. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often, usually twice a week, with new beading ideas. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials and where you could buy supplies from, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where, by the way, you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on Facebook and Instagram mainly. You could also check my second channel, link in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 11 Delica beads, Mayuki Delica and here I use earring findings. This is Nemo beading thread that is 0.2 millimeter which is size D. You could use Fireline if you want or Monofilament whatever you have. This is size 10 beading needle, you could use size 11 or size 12. It's up to you and I'm providing a pattern that you're also going to see here at this corner through uh, the tutorial and I will use it in this direction by the way. This tutorial will be done with uh, brick stitch, it could be done also with peyote stitch but now I'm showing with brick stitch. Okay and I'm going to take a long thread on my needle, an arm span of thread or even a little bit more and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and I have my thread here on my needle. And I'm going to take my pattern and I'm going to start here from the first row. And if you don't see how many beads I have in the first row because they are all one color, I will tell you there are 12 beads here. So I'm going to pick them up one next to each other. Okay, and I'll show you how. So first thing I'm doing is that I'm going to pick up two of these beautiful yellow Delica Mayuki beads. And I'm going to slide those down. Okay, and it is possible to start this work without making a knot, but I will make a knot here. Okay, I will start it with a knot, okay? Uh, now guys, here I'm leaving uh, a tail and later I will put my needle on it and uh, I will secure this part of my work. That is why I just leave a small tail where you could put your needle. Finish your work with it. Okay, so now what I want to do, uh, you see how they are situated next to each other and the holes are pointing in this direction. You see both holes are in this direction. And what I want to do is go one more time through this bit. Okay. I secure them to stay in a nice and a better shape. Then I will pick up one more bead and I'm going here in this one. Okay, I'm making a loop you see between those two beads and I pull. Now I have this arranged next to the other beads and I will go here through this bead. Then I'm going to pick up one seed bead and I will go back again in the same manner as I did before and back again through the last bead. Okay, my thread is really long, that's why it takes time. Okay, now I'm going to pick up the fifth bead. And then I'm going to pick up the sixth one. Okay, and I will do six more in the same manner and I'll be back when I have 12 beads here. 
Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding the 12th bead from this row. Okay, now I have my 12 here. And I will go here through this bead again. Okay. Now I will turn my work in this direction because I'm right-handed and I prefer to work like this. Okay, so it's time to take my pattern and to show you how I'm making brick stitch. I showed you a lot of times, probably you are familiar. If not, uh, you will be in a while. Okay, so uh, first in I will start this row and the first thing I'm going to do is take two yellow beads. I always start with two yellow beads and you see here I have expanding row coming up next. You see this is more in this direction. That is why when I take those two I will go through the first thread bridge and what I mean these are the thread bridges between the beads. You see this one is the first between the first and the second yellow bead. So I'm taking two beads and I'm going here under this thread bridge you see and I'm pulling gently. Now I have these two beads attached to my work and I go to the one that is closer to my needle and that is closer to the center of my work. Okay, and when I go through it, this is what I have. And from now on, guys, I'm going to add my beads one by one. And you see here I have two reds, two blacks and two greens. Okay, and I'm starting first I take one red and I go in the next thread bridge. You see where I'm going. I will be adding them one by one and in the following thread bridges that come. So here between the second and the third bead, here is the thread bridge that I'm going through. And then I go again through this red bead that's on my way and I pull. Then what was coming up that you could also see here uh, is another red bead. Okay, I have this red and I'm going in the following thread bridge. Okay, and then I go back here through this red again. Then what comes are two black beads as I told you. Okay, one black then one more black and then it comes two green beads. Okay, I'm taking one green bead okay i have it here and i'm going under the next thread bridge like this and i go back to it through it and then again Okay, then I will consult me with my pattern and after the two greens it comes a black, two reds and two yellows. So I'm taking a black. Two reds, one by one. And two yellows, okay. I take 
one yellow and you see here is my last thread bridge that I'm adding it to and in order to add the last yellow that I need I'm using the same thread bridge always when I expand my work I start with two beads I go through the first thread bridge and then at the last thread bridge I add two beads this is where I expand and uh, you see here I'm expanding up to this row and here I will decrease my work and I will show you when I'm up to here the rules are, are a little bit different okay and let me show you the next row okay I flip my work because it's easier for me and this is the third row and I will start it with a yellow and a black always start with two beads and then I have a yellow and a red so I'm starting it with a yellow and a black okay like this I go through the first thread bridge here like this you see and then I go through the black bead that is closer to the center of my work and to my needle and what I said that is coming next is a yellow a red and two blacks okay and I will add the, them faster Okay, and now I'm taking my pattern again and I need a yellow, a black and a yellow. okay guys now I have this and I'm going to flip my work and I'm going to start with my next row I need a yellow a black and then a black and a yellow and uh, if you can't do this that fast feel free to pause the video and rewind it and so on so you will be able to make it or just pause on the pattern if you feel secure enough and do this up to here okay I'll show you a few more rows a yellow a black a black and a yellow okay and I take a yellow and a black I go through the first thread bridge here just like this and I will go through the black that is closer to the center of my work and that is closer to my thread and then I need a black and then a yellow
okay okay guys and now i'm going to put all the beads that are left until the end of this row and they are two blacks red yellow red two blacks yellow two blacks and a yellow you could pause the video and i'll do this off camera and i'll be back and you could work uh, looking at this pattern okay guys and now this row is ready as you may see i followed the pattern and um, i'm here where i have two uh, black beads and a yellow and now what i'm going to do is make the next one two three and four rows and you could do it by pausing here and continuing from here one two three four and when you're ready uh, i'll be back to tell you how to make the decreasing brick stitch okay see you in four rows by the way i decided to show you the process here is the first now i flip and start one more see you in a while okay and this is the next row and i flip and i will start the next one okay and this is the next row and i'll flip and i'll do the longest row in my pattern here and i'll be back then to show you the decreasing stitch okay guys and now this is the longest row of my work and from here on i will start decreasing that's why i'm back to show you how so first this is the row that i'm going to do and i will take a yellow and a black and then two reds okay now i'm taking a yellow and a black but when i decrease pay attention i'm not going through the first thread bridge here between the yellow and the black the first and the second but i go between the black and the red which are the second and the third beads okay basically i do the same thing but just the thread bridge that i go through is different and then again i go through this black bead now you see i don't like how this looks that is why i'm going to go one more time through the yellow and then i'm going back through the black one and always turn your work the way it's easier for you okay and now in my next step i will take two reds i will put them on and then i'll give you the pattern to continue until the end of this row okay now we are here and it's time to continue two blacks yellow four blacks yellow two blacks two reds one black and one yellow pause and do this and i'll be back okay guys and here i'm almost ready and the other difference with the expanding brick stitch is that here at the last thread bridge you add only one bead not two like when you were expanding but it's obvious because if you follow the pattern you should stop until this yellow bead okay now i will flip my work and i will show you how i start another row of decreasing brick stitch okay this was my first row and this is the second and i started with yellow and a black and i have two greens after that so i'm taking a yellow and a black and if you remember i go under the second thread bridge here just like this and what was the difference is that i will make an, a reinforcement an additional reinforcement of my beads because they are stretched and you should go one more time around those beads to make them stay nice in a better shape make a new thread pad to pull them a little bit to the center and now according to my pattern i have two greens
ok and I will continue this row you see which one you could pause and do it and I'll be back ok guys and now I finish this row I will flip and you could pause on this pattern and finish your work up to here and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you how to attach your earring finding ok guys and I just finished this row and what I want to do next is show you how I'm attaching my earring finding and in order to do this I will go here at the top and I will exit out of this bit and I'm taking my earring finding and I'm going to pick up one bead then my earring finding then one more bead okay this is what I have and I will go back here through this seed bead okay just like this and I'm going to reinforce Okay guys and after reinforcing I want to go through some beads in both directions zigzagging through my work okay and in some point when I do a lot of zigzagging I will take my scissors and I will cut my thread now now guys I will put my needle on this thread here and I will do the same thing zigzagging and cut my thread and my earring will be ready okay guys and now my colorful brick stitch or peyote stitch earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new videos usually twice a week and you will be inspired often down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel link where you could buy supplies from and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is and you could check my second channel also link in description thank you so much for watching bye bye from me